Late last year, Washington extended the renewable fuel standard requiring 36 billion gallons of biofuels to be used as fuel annually by the year 2022. When the price of oil hit and then passed beyond $100 a barrel, leading to gas prices well above the $3 mark, headlines were made. But recently, an even more newsworthy headline has surfaced. According to analysts from Goldman Sachs, all it could take is one major disruption and oil could hit $200 a barrel. Corn ethanol provides Americans with a way to reduce our dependence on foreign oil right now. We know corn ethanol is not the only solution, but part of a more diversified solution. We see great promise in cellulosic ethanol, for example, but we recognize it is just that, promise, something we need to work on for the future. For now, corn ethanol is an efficient fuel source that is available, affordable, and American. It has decades of research behind it, and its production is growing even more efficient. But what if we were to stop using it? Experts agree on one result, higher gasoline prices. The Wall Street Journal cites Merrill Lynch commodity strategist Francisco Blanc that oil and gas prices would be about 15% higher if biofuel producers weren't increasing their output. That would be a hit on our economy of $70 billion a year. Iowa State University researchers agree, saying that ethanol helps keep gasoline prices down by between 29 and 40 cents a gallon depending on region. What's great news for growers is that, with higher crop prices, federal support for farmers is reduced by $8 to $12 billion each year. In a recent report on the economic impact of the ethanol industry, the Renewable Fuels Association found that in 2007, ethanol supported more than 230,000 U.S. jobs, put more than $12 billion into the pockets of American consumers, and generated more than $8 billion in tax revenue. To U.S. corn growers, ethanol and advanced biofuels provide stability for our industry and energy and economic security for our country.